an iconic site and always a lure for tourists. But a trek up Table Mountain all too often ends in trouble. Rescue services have responded to no fewer than 170 emergencies this past year. And sometimes the only way down is by helicopter. We've been called out uh, on the festive season about 26 times in the, in the whole of the Western Cape. The majority of that, about 75%, uh, is on Table Mountain. Uh, the most common is hikers getting in distress, uh, either because they've become ill, uh, they've got a, a medical condition, or uh, heat exhaustion, they've fallen, uh, maybe they've lost and gone off the path and got into a, a fairly precarious position. Um, and those are the main type of scenarios that we get called out to. The mountain is not particularly high, just over a thousand meters, less than a fifth the height of Mount Kilimanjaro. Even so, for its beauty, it demands respect. A wrong step in some parts will end in tragedy. People think that Table Mountain is a little hill in the middle of the city where they can go take a nice uh, walk up the mountain and they think they can do it in a few hours. Uh, if you look at Plata Club Gorge, which, and, which is one of our highest uh, locations for incidents, is about a two to three hour walk upwards for the average person. Um, and then people normally leave during midday and they get caught out by the heat uh, or people just run out of water. So tourists are being urged to make sure they know what they're climbing before they set out and take the right clothes and plenty of water. Sadly, Table Mountain has also claimed the lives of four people, which is just another sober reminder of the dangers that exist when hiking up the mountain. Gavis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.